Yo, welcome back to my videos. So today I will give you the best guide for mid game while obviously keeping it simple and quick. So let's get straight into it. Now, obviously, before I start, people confuse mid game with the early mid game, and obviously when it starts. Now, mid game starts when you have 35 bees and you get every single item in the top shop. That is early mid game. But mid game starts after you get the honey mask and somewhere around like your gold amulet and that area. Now, obviously, everything in mid game starts to feel actually kind of tight, and you have barely any materials. So this is the simple tutorial to tell you everything that you need and obviously how you could save everything while also keeping everything stable and i don't know what i'm happy about genuinely now considering on a plot about beastmas being actually like a month ago let's just talk about the sticker update and what does this have to do well the sticker update is actually like a big part now because genuinely it is so effective like i have been boosted like crazy right now now what you really need to do is just gather as many stickers as you want. You may see trading as like kind of a useless thing, but if you actually do go in the trading channel in the Beast Swarm Simulator Discord server, you will see like a lot of good deals, like genuinely good deals that you can actually use to trade stuff that you don't have with stuff that you have and keep that sticker stack going up. And you can easily farm stickers on Hive skins simply by like putting a single basic egg in the sticker printer. Now the next thing here is like planters, I don't know why people always exclude planters and think they're just like a useless endgame thing, but genuinely planters are like the most good thing that Onnit has added in a while. Because if you have like at least 3 planters going, you can get simple free boosts in every single type of color like blue, red or yellow. Yellow? What? Yeah, definitely not yellow but white. Now speaking of white, your hive entirely should be mixed. Like I, I see a lot of mistakes, especially in mid game, where people make their entire hive either blue or red or white. Now you should be mixed because every single quest that you're gonna have until you finish on it and black bear and spirit bear are all gonna be mixed quest. And you need to focus on all of the colors not just one and you should have all the amulets like mixed <laughs> did you think i forgot yeah the legendary hives yeah you should not touch those bro if i see you having a legendary hive a toothpaste hive wallahi i'm coming for you i'm not leaving you bro and that's it just simply keep the balance between white red and blue bees and obviously putting bomb bees and boost bees as they're like kind of essential if you want to fill your bag real quick especially bomb bees as they fill your bag very quickly but if you're having issues with overfilling you can simply get rid of them or you can gift your photon bee as actually gifting your photon bee is very essential because you instantly convert your beams anyways you should like use every single collector in the game as you can just rack up materials and you should always kill your king beetle tunnel bear and coconut crab now people may see the coconut crab is very hard in mid game but simply if you have level 10 bees and about like 41 bees it will take you probably around like 10 minutes with a vicious bee and that's really it and personally the coconut crab gives very amazing rewards like one star jelly 50 coconuts and probably a lot of tropical drinks as they are like really essential to stack up on as you will need them for the coconut canister and the coconut boots obviously and the coconut belt if it comes out who knows and speaking of item order i see a lot of people getting the wrong thing at the wrong time in mid game because just the, the simple mistake of the wrong item can cost you literally like weeks of grinding so i'm just gonna give you the list that i know and that everyone trusts if you have any different ideas or different opinions about it do not blame me for it and you don't have to go attack me for it and this is also mostly my opinion so if you also have any different ideas you can let me know in the comments in my next videos so first off you should get the honey mask now i know i'm starting very early here but i don't want to make any mistakes so first off the honey mask then the honeycomb belt if you can save up for it and expecting by then you already have your first petal i think you should either go for the petal wand or you should go for the crimson and cobalt cards now people say the crimson and cobalt cards are very difficult to get but i think they're like genuinely so easy you just need to save up the materials and if you're having problems with stingers you can check my stingers video if you need that too then you should go for the petal wand now i know that sounds crazy and a lot of people do not agree with me and i know that but listen when you're in mid game the materials are so cheap and also expensive at the same time you genuinely don't know what to do and i think the pedal wand is genuinely very cheap for mid game if you just go for it it will save you so much more time and honestly it's kind of worth it at the start then it wouldn't be but i know and the pedal belt is so unnecessarily expensive that you can't even save up for it so i th i suggest just leaving it more in the second pedal and that's it and now we have the most important step that everyone keeps rethinking about. Now, what mask should you get? Should I get the diamond mask, the demon mask, or the gummy mask? Now listen, 
if you made do the mistake of getting the demon mask, I'm sorry for you. I'm genuinely sorry for you. Like, I feel bad for you, bro. Listen, the diamond mask is the best option here. I think the gummy mask is also like a very good option because I got it first, but I realized that was a mistake because honestly, blue grinding in the mid game is so much easier. And you know why? Because if you are a blue hive in mid game, that is so much easier and you can make so much honey to go to whatever hive that you want. Obviously, after you get the SSA. Now, before I say anything that is stupid, just go for the diamond mask. If you do not have five diamond eggs or you have four, you can just get the last one. You either wait for Beastmas or you go for the gummy mask but honestly hear me out the pedal belt needs almost like 100 glue and the boots like the coconut boots need almost 100 glue too so that is just a double waste like i said just go for the diamond mask save yourself days and weeks of grinding for silly items that you just made a mistake on okay and that's it then obviously you should go for the pedal belt now if you have your second pedal and for the love of god and i genuinely mean it do not go for the windy bee Trust me, it is not worth it. I'm telling you right now, it's not worth it if you don't need your second pedal. Me personally, I went for the pedal belt and it was the best option that I have done in years. It helped me so much. It's not the best, obviously, because the like passive is not the best, but it is genuinely very decent and I don't mind using it every single time. And it feels like a good little boost. And finally, you should go for the coconut canister. Now, people say you should go for the coconut boots first, but genuinely, the coconut boots is like basically the porcelain boots if you don't have the coconut canister because you don't even have coconuts to drop, which is honestly kind of useless. No, trust me, just go for the coconut canister. It may look expensive, but trust me, the grind is worth it. The grind is worth it. Go for the coconut canister, then go for the boots. And I think that is pretty much it. Now, if I have missed any planters, I have missed any sprinklers, just go for them. I think they're just like not even necessary. You just go for what you see. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Now, I know this is my favorite video with my voice and my accent did not help me at all. Maybe I pronounced some words wrong. Maybe I was speaking too fast or too slowly. I know. I'm trying to improve and obviously trying to get better at this. So thank you for watching and bearing with my annoying voice. Thank you, and obviously subscribe and like, or I'm coming to your house, and I'm not even joking.